Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Farjana. Welcome to my another quick tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how we can create any inner pages or how we can start any inner pages for any home page. So when I create any inner pages, our design flow should be similar with our home page. Alright, so let's go ahead and without any further ado, let's get started. So for example, this is my home page. And now I'm going to create our about page. So going to about page. And for the home page, I'm going to open this page in the Elementor Builder. And now if I check the about page, so by default, it's looking like this. And now I'm also going to open the about page with the Elementor. So first time it's not opening. So I'm going to edit page and now going to edit with Elementor and also going to the home page. And from here, I'm going to save the whole about page, sorry, the whole home page as the template. So for that, from here, save options, save as template and saving this page as home. And now going to save. So now our home page is saved as template. And now if I again going to the about page and again refreshing it. Now going to click on the add template and going to my templates and from here I'm going to insert the home page. And now for this inner page first I am removing some extra sections. For example I'm removing this also don't need this work area removing the services and only keeping the related section for about and now we can also remove this section and here i'm changing the page title to about us and here we can decrease the font size for the inner page title so going to style tab and from typography i'm changing the font to 50 we can keep it and also in the bottom area of this section we can remove this spacing so for that from here going to advance and for top 150 and for bottom we can make it to same and also for this section going here from advance for the bottom padding i'm making it to zero so now it's equal spacing in top and bottom and also if I check the responsive view going to tablet here I'm going to decrease the font size so going to style tab and for here I'm making it to 30 or 35 and for phone we can keep it as it is and also for the spacing again i'm going to the tablet first and from here going to add fonts and for top and bottom first making it to unlink for top i'm adding 120 and for bottom 120 and similarly for the phone for top adding 100 and for bottom 100 looks good and now again going to the desktop view now for the content area we can keep the about section as it is and now I'm going to remove this read more button and here this is the details page so here we can keep the title small title and some details and here we may need to have some more text so for that i'm going to create another section and this time i'm taking it to the full width and for the section style going to copy and paste style and also going to copy the text and paste it here and here we can remove the, some padding for the top area so going here from advance I'm removing the top padding to zero 
and here we can also decrease some spacing so we can do it from the top section so for the top section from advance from bottom if i check we can make it to 50 okay so i'm making it to the zero and now if we need to add some more details about us we can add more text here for example i'm adding more text and here we can also increase our text and here if you need to add some more sections we can add any custom section and finally if i check the responsive view and again going to the tablet so it looks good on tablet and also for the phone looks good on phone also and here we can also decrease the spacing so again going to the second section and from advanced for phone we can make the top padding to zero we can also decrease some spacing if we need for now i'm just leaving it as it is and going back to the desktop and save our page and finally going back to the view page all right so here is our about page and following the same process we can create others in our pages for our website all right so that's all for today if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website thank you for watching see you in the next video